Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I have just a nice short video for you guys. Um, like four years ago or so, I actually went pretty hard on RuneScape, on my RuneScape Iron Man, when Iron Man was kind of around the time when it was released. Um, and then I pretty much like cold turkeyed it because I played so much. And since I'm not really playing this Path of Exile League, like at all for the most part I really needed something to kind of fill in that void of grinding so I decided to revisit my character and I just kind of want to give you guys some updates with what's been going on um, I know this may seem really random for some of you guys but I actually get runescape requests quite a while so um, this isn't really something I'm going to be doing every day it's just like a video maybe I'll put out like once a month I don't really know if I'm going to commit to runescape or anything it's just a little progress update I figured I should show you guys uh, of course, we've got Grim Dawn coming out in like two days, and I think I may actually stream tomorrow some uh, Sekiro, I think it's called, Shadows Die Twice, um, like kind of like the new Dark Souls game, so that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, anyway, though, let's go ahead and just talk a little bit about my character. Um, so we've got uh, almost max melee stats, so that's kind of nice, 93 range, 71 prayer, blah, 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 you can pretty much see what my stats look like. Um, over in our bank, we're sitting on 16 mil. We've got an Abyssal Whip. Uh, remember, this character has 99 fishing. We fished 109k Monkfish for it. Um, I can kind of just scroll through my bank a little bit here to just show you guys the character and what I've stored. This thing is an utter mess because, like I said, I haven't touched this thing in fucking years. And I was messing around with placeholders and it got all screwy and a bunch of shit like that, so... Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, the reason why I wanted to go back to this character is I never really finished what I wanted to do. Um, so some like some goals to kind of have in mind is I did want to make glories. I actually finally got to 75, ended up boosting plus 5 to make some glories. That was really cool. It took me so long to get glories, so I was really happy for that. Uh, next up, we're pushing for that 87 Slayer so that we can go farm a Trident um, from Slayer, which will allow us to go do Barrows effective or efficiently. Um, and then we can pretty much farm there. Since we have Mortania hard, we're going to get crazy refund on our runes, which means we can basically, it's not really mage training, but we're basically refunding everything that our trident is going to cost, which is really cool because that sets us up for Zulra, even though I could pretty much do Zulra now, but getting the trident, getting some Barrows gear is going to help for the future. Um, we also, I guess, what are some other goals on the character? I do want to complete like pretty much hard of every single diary. I have no clue when that's going to happen. Right now, I'm setting my guy up for some giant seaweed. That's what I've been doing down over here. We're doing the giant seaweed so that we... Okay, I don't really want to go down there and kill myself right now. We're basically doing the giant seaweed so we have uh, a ton of... Uh, we're going to need soda ash and then the giant seaweed which makes molten glass. And then the molten glass we can smith our craft lenses, which is going to get our crafting up, so eventually we can do the big boy crafting, like the Amulet of Fury and the Onyx stuff, so that's that's all for later as well. Construction is going to be a huge goal for us too, so we can actually have like nice teleports and just being able to mount a bunch of shit in our house and then storing a ton of the crap because our bank is pretty much full with a lot of these cosmetics um, that I need like the full sets to turn in. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little update that I'm playing my Iron Man again. I don't know if you guys have tuned in on the streams or not, but it's been a lot of fun. I've been learning again. It's kind of frustrating, but I've been learning since, you know, the game has changed 100% in the four years that I've been gone. You know, there's new methods for pretty much everything, which is really cool. Um, RuneScape is probably the best game or best MMO that I have ever played when it comes to, like personal achievement and character progression you know you really really have to work uh, at least on an iron man for pretty much everything that you get you don't really get anything for free unless you get like crazy crazy lucky also i do want to give like a little quick plug if you guys are curious or you're interested in checking out runescape or you've heard about runescape and you just never really you know were able to get into it i want to show you something that's going to potentially help you out a lot so the default runescape is going to look kind of like this Maybe it's going to be even smaller than this. I can't really shrink it. Now, having a screen this size is is a real pain in the ass for people, especially when you're like looking at your, uh, if you're looking at your, uh, hold on, how do I go to the options and change this? Here we go. If you're playing it like this, this is how default RuneScape will look. If you use a, a client called RuneLight, not only are you able to stretch your screen and not make it look like shit, 
you're also able to zoom out further and you have a bunch of extra things. Now, I normally am against things like this um, because of like OS Buddy and stuff like or OS Buddy, yeah, from back in the day. But Rune Light is completely 100% free. You don't have to pay for anything. It's all free and it allows you to customize the game the way you want and it's very simple. Part of the reason why I don't like using a lot of third-party applications for most games is because the mods and the add-ons are very annoying. You have to put it in a folder, change this, change that, set path location, set file location, you get an error, your game doesn't start. This is literally so simple, right? It changes the game from 2007 and it kind of makes it feel updated. You basically just click the configuration and you can change anything that you want. You can make it so items stack, so instead of having, you know, 49 of an item, when you right click, it'll say times 49. You can change it in, I mean, basically every type of way possible. And I just thought that was really cool, and I just wanted to let you guys know what's up. Um, if you're curious, I may stream RuneScape the next day or two, but Grim Dawn expansion is right around the corner, so definitely gonna be playing Grim Dawn. I may be doing some idling on this character, uh, but I'm not exactly 100% sure yet. Anyway, though, I just wanted to give you guys an update and a rundown of what's been going on. So, hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And hopefully the video doesn't get like 1,000 dislikes. So, <laughs> take care, everybody. <laughs>